Hello guys, and we're gonna actually continue on and talk about a credit union. So this is actually a credit union not far from where I reside in the, in the San Fernando Valley, uh, Los Angeles area. So again, I'm not an expert on banks or credit unions. I'm, I'm doing this channel because I want you guys to always do your own research, never rely on some random dude on YouTube giving you advice. I mean, listen to the advice, but make sure you do your homework. Be noble about what you study and never just rely on anybody's word. I think that's one of the biggest problems we see. If someone says something nice, they put on a suit and they, oh, they must be an expert. No, that's not true. At the end of the day, I'm a normal guy, just like everybody else. I happen to run a couple little businesses, but at the end of the day, I'm just your everyday guy uh, trying to learn and educate you guys. So one of the biggest differences I think that we can continue with a credit union versus a bank. So banks are for profit institutions. They have to be profitable for their investors. I don't know if you guys remember back in 2018 when Wells Fargo had that big scandal. It was close to almost $600 million. I'm sorry, about $575 million, I think, when they opened up a bunch of accounts. And this actually happened to me. My banker at the time had opened up a bunch of accounts that were under my name for different businesses that I never had. They never checked paperwork to see if it was registered with the city, nothing. He just opened up a bunch of accounts. And I remember when I talked to him, I said, hey, what's going on? He said, oh, it was a glitch and he ended up being let go, but this is what they were doing. And the reason Wells Fargo is doing this is because they have to be profitable for their investors. So that's why bank fees are oftentimes very high, right? You go over something, they hit you with a $35 fee real quick. Uh, you, it, bank fees are just high because again, banks have to be profitable for their investors. The nice thing is when you join a credit union, you actually become a member, like you're part of the team. So you actually get a say in how the credit union is ran. The downside with credit unions is they're often not all over the place. So for example, this credit union here in the San Fernando Valley, I think there's a couple other ones in LA, but it's not global. Like I can't go out of state and oftentimes find a credit union that may correspond with this one. So it gets tricky, especially for someone like me who may travel sometimes, it, it's a lot harder because again, they're not as centralized as big banks are where you can find them in almost every, every corner, right? Credit unions aren't like that. The nice thing though with credit unions is typically their, their rates on loans are often lower than banks because again, they don't necessarily have to be for profit for their members. So they often keep their rates a lot lower. So if you're looking at maybe getting a bank or car loan, if you're in that predicament, and you need to, I would often look at seeing what a credit union could do versus a bank. They're not as popular, but like my mother, for example, is a teacher and she's a member of the teacher's credit union and she gets all sorts of amazing perks and they're very personal with her uh, because it's a, it's a credit union for teachers. And you'll often see this, there's credit unions for maybe all members of Ralph's, right? Ralph's has their own credit union for employees at Ralph's. So it's really cool because they're more personalized. But again, I want you guys to do your homework on a credit union or a bank and I want you to look into it. Just remember, banks have to be for profit. They have to be profitable for the investor. Credit unions are not necessarily for that. Credit unions, you are actually a member of that union. And so you get a say in how things are ran. And I know at this credit union here, when I've been here, they're always very personal with me. One of the managers here, he's always coming to talk to me. Uh, I one time had an issue where I had to dispute some stuff. They were very reasonable. They printed out documents. They, there was a much more personal feel but again, they're small, you know, I'm not in line with 20 people where I'm just a number. I felt like, hey, you know, they actually care. The, I, that customer experience was a lot different than a bank. But the bad thing, like I said, they're not as centralized. So for certain things, especially like when I'm investing online and certain platforms for uh, buying and selling stocks, oftentimes you can't sync these accounts with credit unions. They have to be through banks like Wells, Chase, Bank of America. So again, there's pros and cons to both sides, but I want you guys to do your homework and for you to decide what's best for you. Make sure you do your homework. We're often not taught about credit unions. We're often told to get a bank account, put your money in the bank. But oftentimes, like I said, credit unions have better interest rates. And hey, I want you guys to please like and subscribe if you can. Again, we're trying to provide you guys educational content and we are not selling you guys any kind of courses. We want you to be educated on your financial things. Again, your goal in life should never be, oh, I just need to make money. Money in itself is not gonna make you happy. But when you have money to take care of your needs, it makes life a lot less stressful. And we want you guys to think about these things because again, we're often not taught these things in school. So someone's got to teach us. And I figured, hey, you know, why not me? I can educate you guys. But again, I'm not some all knowing person, far from it. I want you guys to do your homework, do your research, make sure what I say is true. I could be an error. I'm human, I'm flawed. 
And again, hey, please like and subscribe, you guys, and I want you to find your way to make unconventional money. Rom wants you to succeed and will continue to bring you unconventional money-making content for free. Leave a comment below, a like, and if you would, subscribe for more money-making tips. Also, take this opportunity for an amazing offer from Weeble. Two free stocks worth up to $1,800. See the link in the description below. They even give Rom a free stock. Everybody wins.